So, we got Jill's van down here. Put some brakes on it. Also, I got rotors right there just in case it needs it. I went ahead and got them. And when I pull them off, I'll look at them. I need to stick them on. I'll put them on. So, y'all gonna get to watch me do a great job. Napa Mike, Napa Brent, please forgive me for I have sinned. Still got the plastic covering on it. Yes, sir. It's a big box, too. It's taller than I am here. See, this is uh, he made the 40, 4200 of them. That's number 30. This box didn't come out till after Earnhardt got killed at Daytona. So that van, that's a uh, 2013 Town and Country. That makes the third one of these vans we have had right here. Good vans, get good gas mileage, and uh, they're not too, they're not too costly. Get good service out of them too. Be pretty happy with them. They uh, they've served us well for what we need. Actually, the pads. They're just right. They're just right. So I'm gonna snatch the calipers off. The pads on it. Hopefully the other rotor is still good. It's not. This in here is not grooved. Anything. I'm gonna pull this inside head off too, and uh, look at it. All right, so we roar these down about as close as you can get without getting metal to metal. You can see that. Jill did good. Let me know when. See, there's the indicator right there. Like just a little bit getting to the indicator. So that's good. I gotta confess something, y'all. Dude. Man, I have. I've always had an issue with putting stuff back up where I need to put it. For some reason, I've always failed at that. You know, like tools, stuff like that. And then what it does then when I need it again, then I spend an extra 10, 15, sometimes 30 seconds. I mean, it's right here in the shop, but I end up having to look for it. I have got to make myself do a better job of when I'm done putting stuff up. But my problem is, it's when I do stuff, I'm usually in such a hurry to get it done and get on to the next thing that I, I you know, I'm trying to cut corners and just not putting things back up where they go. So I don't know if any of y'all suffer from that, but that's a, just a, that's something that I suffer from. I just thought I'd let y'all know, but see, I just got the, I just snatched the caliper off, got it laying right there on top of the rotor. So I'm going to throw the pads on there real quick and uh, lock her back down. We're going to call her done. Let's show y'all the difference. There's a new one. And there's the four out one right there. Uh, if I get away with not having to change the rotor on the other side over there too, this uh, four pads wasn't but uh, thirty-two dollars I think from CarQuest is all. And that's who we do business with is CarQuest because they're on this side of town. We don't have a Napa over here. Sorry about that. 
Napa Mike, Napa Brent, forgive me, for I have failed you. This side's done, 15 minutes is all it took. I already got the tire off on the other side over here. I'm gonna, uh, go snatch the, snatch the caliper off right quick. Get it done. You see these pads, they just slip right in that slot right there is all they do. And they just come right out. This one here is a little bit closer than the one on the other side. Well, she's getting close on that one. What you look like, girl? So we are good. This one right here is okay. Ain't wearing it even though you can see it's thinner on this side. A little bit, a little bit of difference there. We'll push that piston in, put the new pads on it, and we'll be ready. So there it is, the caliper is back on with the new pads on it on the right side. Throw the tire back on it, and she'll be ready to uh, test drive. Oh yeah, time I crank it in. Pump it a time or two, that'll be back just right. Right there, that brake level. All right, let me get the let me get the wheel back on here. Ain't gonna need the caliper. We got ninety two thousand. Oh, crank her up. Couple pumps on the old pedal here. Oh yeah. Yup. Alright. Oh boy. Feels good. I'm gonna check the uh, brake fluid right quick and then we'll take her for a spin. I got something else I'm gonna show y'all here before I get going from down here. So $32 in an hour, under an hour of my time, got it done. Now, what that would have, what they charge now in a shop to do that, I have no idea. I don't, I don't like doing that stuff myself. I can, I don't like doing it, but I get a video out of it, so, and y'all get to see what I'm doing on top of that too but kind of had to part ways with uh with our mechanic that we've been using to do this kind of stuff so that's just a whole another topic for discussion all this the mom mobile serves us well serves us well that's what we went to the paul bunyan show in there um <laughs> We can load a lot of stuff in it, man. You can fold those seats down in it and you can cram a bunch of stuff in that joker. And uh, uh, I had some folks say some stuff about the windshield being cracked in it when Jill and I went, were coming back from the, from the Paul Bunyan show. And the thing about it is, is, you know, I had people jump on me about that windshield. The thing about it is, if Jill wanted a brand new vehicle, I go get her one tomorrow. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bat an eye. I go get the woman the one tomorrow. Uh, if she wanted a new windshield, I go get her one tomorrow. But Jill don't roll like that. Jill makes do with what she has. She don't, and she's fine with it. You know what I mean? She, uh, she drives back and forth to work, and we go to the ball games and stuff like that with the girls, and and. Uh, if she's happy with it, I'm happy with it. And when she gets ready for one, I'll get her one. But 
so now I'm going to go in the house and get y'all a video ready for tomorrow. Probably not this one, but another one. We'll get her, get her done. So, oh man, if you want some cotton top three stuff, remember all my cotton top three stuff. Um, I've got it. I've got some of it marked down right now. My tan shirts are marked down till Christmas. Uh, this is a coat. This is a a hoodie coat, and I'm not gonna have them for this year. I'm actually testing these right now. Everything that I get <clears throat> before it goes before y'all before I make an order on it, and it goes on the website before I buy it, I run it through the mills big time testing it washing it over and over and wearing it getting it getting it dirty getting the sleeves dirty on it and and seeing how how that's going to wash out making sure it's going to hold up before i put it out there so you can rest assured that any hats um, any shirts clothing that i do um i have tested it very thoroughly so these this coat here will probably be a next year item is probably what it'll be and because i don't man i spent uh starting out the website everything i i, I hit seven thousand dollars just to snap your fingers and the first two weeks into the website i was really really worried that i had made the wrong decision and then uh uh, and then things the website has really been rolling really good and moving I mean the last two weeks I mean Jill and I have taken anywhere from six to nine orders every day um, to the post office to be shipped so that's been good and I appreciate y'all supporting me that way but uh, I'm going to let y'all go for now Oh, that link to the website is right down below. So we'll catch y'all later. Light tighters! So yes, before anybody asks, I am putting my tools up. Like a good boy. <laughs> so I'll know where they are. <laughs>